Peggy Box's commute to her office takes all of about 60 seconds. But that's the luxury of life when your favorite hobby becomes your passion and your career. From as long as I can remember, I've always drawn, painted. Since I was a little bitty kid, it's like I always knew that's what I would do, always. Peggy is a classically trained artist in oil, and for many years, she made a living creating heirloom portraits of people. Her paintings nearly photographic in their realistic representations, a little too real for some folks, and that's exactly why Peggy quit painting portraits of people and turned her brush towards subjects with more hair and less attitude. It started out I really liked it, but when I got into serious portrait painting, the vanity of people and what they wanted was, well, it wasn't going to look like them. You the know, vanity. Yeah, make me younger, make me thinner, make me prettier, make, and it doesn't look like them, so you lose the make whole me character. Make look like somebody else? Yeah, you lose the character. It's kind of, I guess, what our society is now, with the nose job and the facelift and the... And you lose what makes somebody so beautiful, the, the very unique qualities that make people who they are. Animals are more honest, so more honest. they're more honest. They don't have the vanity and all their little quirks, all their little crooked features and scars and everything make them who they are. Whereas people want to be thinner, younger, <laughs> prettier. I just prefer the honesty of animals. Call her the Rembrandt for Rottweilers and Rat Terriers. She is the artist who will immortalize your four-legged friends and revel in their imperfections. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than an old dog with a snaggle tooth and a squinky eye and you know, a funky ear. To me, that's all beautiful. And it's not what you would call perfection. What Peggy hopes to capture in her paintings is the traits that make that pet special to their owners. And make no mistake, the owners of her subjects see their pets as serious members of their families. It's a special bond of love that Peggy understands. My clients are very, very attached to their dogs. I think it's just unconditional love, both sides. It seems to be rare these days, but that still exists with people, and it's like people and their kids and people and their dogs. The lady I did a painting for in Houston, she was so cool. She had a gorgeous house, I guess it was a mansion, I don't know, beautiful baby grand piano, pool, five rescue dogs, toenail prints on every hardwood in her house, you know, the couches had fuzz on them from the dogs. It was just amazing. It was a beautiful thing. You love that. I love that. It was awesome. <laughs> she was just so cool. It gives me goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh, that's awesome. Well, since the idea of Fido sitting still while Peggy paints a portrait is out of the question, Peggy takes photos of her subjects to capture that moment that she will preserve on canvas. And from a dashing dachshund to a one-eyed bulldog, it's all just part of a day's work. Some dogs are easier than others. Some of them love the camera, some of them don't. I take a bunch of treats that are owner-approved treats. I take little squeaky animals. I make a lot of weird noises. I mean, it's... You're like the kid's photographer at the mall. <laughs> it's exactly. It's so cute, this little bump on the nose. Yeah, I, oh, I love the mouth. I like the way that... Little Peggy little Box is as passionate for her art as she is about animals. She knows the happiness that animals bring. But for all the joy dogs and cats create for their owners, it's a fact that our furry friends just don't live forever. And a dozen or so years is the most we can usually expect our pets to spend with us in this life. More reason than ever, Peggy says, to preserve those memories with paint on canvas. And if emotion has a color, well, you can bet you will find it in a Peggy Box painting. And it's hard when I 
do an older dog and then I find out that dog passed. That's very hard too. It's you get emotional about that? Very. I'm getting... Did you get attached while you're painting them? See, water works. But it's part of my job.